Hello, I work to train some Vietic. As I said in the previous episode, this episode will be for introduction to the ESU Mobile Controller 2. It's an actual showing you of a device. So, looking at it up front, you have your throttle reel, which is motorised and uh, mechanical on front. This is what makes this device so unique. Followed by the screen with your standard three Android keys at the bottom, as this is an Android controller for use with an e, e course made by ESU. So that's the front. Then on the side, you have two function buttons which are software controllable and a nice place to put your finger for the throttle wheel. On the other side, you have a same two you have another two buttons and again the throttle reel. Then on the bottom you have a USB microcharging, headphone circuit and a place to put your lanyard. On the back you have a back panel with four screws. If you ever need to change the battery, this is where about to access it. Uh, that most probably will be something I take to pieces much later on. Then up at the top you have a power button. So you just press a power button to turn it on. And then you get to the first Android screen followed by a second Android screen. As I said in the first episode the default language on this is German. So first thing I need to do is change it to English. So once this has beaten up, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, to change the language, you click on the setting button, which is this symbol here. Then you get all the bits up on the screen. You want to click on this one here for A, which is I can't even say what it is, but it actually is language and settings, so you click on that. Then you click at the icon up at the top, and then you scroll down to find English UK. You click on that, and the device is now in English. So I said you've got the three standard keys at the bottom. You have the back, the home and the menu. So when you're done you just press the back button or when you when you want to go back to the original screen you can press the home button. On the screen you have three buttons and the Google search bar. You've got settings you got uh, programs, which if you press, take you into all the programs. And to exit it, you can press home or back. And then you have a control software, so you just undo that. Just press that to load it. And it now says no command station found, but you can have a play on demo mode. So you click on that and press demo mode. So you can actually test your function off the wheel. Let me just zoom out a bit. If I just change the throttle on here, you can see the wheel moving. And if I turn the throttle down, you can see the position changing. You also have your settings. I'll just zoom in again. You got drive, you got local list, you got switches, you got accessory panel, you got read and write your CVs and DCC address and settings. And this is where but you can change a lot of your settings. So that's the software. 
so you can again either exit it with a back or home I'll do home okay the last thing I'm going to do before I set up on the layout is to just connect it to the home network so I can do the software updates so pull down for start bar and go into settings hold your finger on Wi-Fi then connect to your preferred Wi-Fi you click on the one you want then it will ask for the password I quickly pause this while I put in my password once you have connected your put in your password you then press connect and it will come up with connected this then gives you a lot of accessibility so for n this finally mean I can connect my Google account so if I load up the apps click on the play store it asks do you have a Google account if you do you press existing if you don't you press new so as I do I press existing then you put in your details which I'll just quickly do off camera once you enter your detail it will come up with sign in uh, I'll be turning off this setting which uh, will take up if you have it running it will take up space and network capacity so turning off keeping the phone backed up with my Google account press the next arrow let it to load for play store you need to accept the terms and conditions and then for some reason it's being a pest so go home and see if it's working so this first I'll, I'll, first I'll show you what is installed then first show you any apps you have used in the past I'm going to keep this pure as if I want to do anything else I got my phone I can play with so that's all I need to do for the time being I'm really not sure what this is trying to do here yeah, but it's Google being Google and here you have uh, your train control software again you have two different web browsers you have a file explorer, email, google and a few other bits so I'll leave you on this as a closer so I hope you have found it interesting you'll notice it's automatically set for time and stuff in the wrong time zone like normal so I'll leave you till my next episode when I'll be connecting it to the Ecos Fire for Home Network.